There will be situations where you zoom into your layout, get the uh, view of this to a decent size and make some changes. And then you're thinking, well, it'd be nice if I could see the text frame that's just off the right hand side to make some changes there. Well, instead of zooming all the way out to see that and then zooming back in again, you can instead use one of the panning options available inside of InDesign. And panning will allow you to browse any way you wish to in your document, but stay at the same magnification level. The easiest way to do this is with any tool active, except the type tool, hold down the space bar. That will give you temporary access to something called the hand tool. The space bar still held down, click and drag the mouse in any direction. And it's almost as though you are grabbing the view with the cursor, which is now shown as a hand. And you're just pulling the view in whichever direction you wish to. Once you get to the part of the document you wish to edit, let go of the space bar. It takes you back to whichever tool you had active previously. And the reason why I say don't use it with the type tool is, well, if your type tool's in a text frame, you'll get loads of space in your text frame. But with any other tool, it works really well. You'll find the hand tool itself is actually in the tools panel and it's just above the zoom tool. So if you wish to, you could just click on the hand tool and just switch to that temporarily and then browse to wherever you wish to. And then when you're done, you could always click back on a different tool if you prefer to. It's also possible to use the scroll bars at the bottom of the screen. So down here you have the horizontal scroll bar. And if I drag this, well, this is really intended for jumping from one side of a page to another because it's quite a aggressive tool. So by dragging left and right, it will allow you to run all the way out to the outer edges of your pages like so. The vertical scroll bar is one that you have to be really careful of because not only will it allow you to drag this up and down to the top and bottom of a page, for example, but if you drag this scroll bar, it will keep scrolling you through every single page of your document from wherever it is you are to the very last or very first page in the document. So just be careful of the scroll bars. They are really handy for jumping across from one side of the page to the other. But if you want to have a lot of control, you can always switch to the hand tool and it's great for just whizzing around your document and getting to a specific place and having a little bit more control.